Okay, sadly, I started this and then I accidentally hit stop screen capture, which of course ends everything. I drew a diagram. I made note that phi is 60 degrees when it when it comes down here. The time is four seconds and the height is 20 meters. Then I wrote some equations. X equals X initial plus V initial in the X direction T. Um, there's no acceleration in the X direction. So therefore D, the distance, is going to be X minus X initial. That's gonna be the distance traveled. And that's just gonna be V zero X, which is V zero cosine theta times T. And the reason for that is that this is going to have two components to it. It's going to have an X component and a Y component. This will be V0 sine theta. This will be V0 cosine theta. So now when I go to y equals y initial plus vy initial t minus one half gt squared, then I notice that y initial is zero. It starts down here at the ground, the ground level. Um, vy initial can be substituted for v initial sine theta t and then minus one half gt squared for gravity. All right. So I need these equations. And I also need another equation that involves this 60 degree angle. So I, I did velocity uh, equations. Vfx equals V initial x plus at, but there's no acceleration in the x direction. Same in the y direction. So then I just wrote those using sine and cosine, and then I put them together here. But I was noticing that this is x and this is y, but I want them to be positive numbers in order, in order to figure it out correctly. The way I have this written, uh, the numerator is going to be a negative number because the velocity in the y direction is going to be downward at that point. The velocity in the x direction will be here. I want this to be a positive number up here, so I really need it to be pointing, uh, to make it so it's pointing upward. The point is, I have to take negative one times this so that that numerator is positive. So that's gonna give me a negative here. And then when I move down, it's going to tell me that, um, again, I've got a negative here. Whoops, draw. I've got a negative here and then a negative here. Or rather, it would be a lot easier to understand if I just erased what was down here. And I wrote it again. And it's just going to be cosine theta tangent phi minus sine theta because the two negatives cancel out. Okay, so now moving over here, get rid of that, get rid of that. So what I'm doing here is I'm substituting this into that equation and that equation. So gt over cosine theta tangent phi minus sine theta and gt over cosine theta tangent phi minus sine theta. Now, the second is easier to work with because we know what h is. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to subtract h from both sides, and I'm going to get gt over theta. 
beta. minus h. If I graph this and look for the zero, then that will give me theta. So I've graphed it here. Um, I, I wrote down my constants here. And so I graph it here, except I want to take this, oops, what did I just do? I don't know what I just did. Okay, um, I want this out of here. Then I need minus, and I'll put it back in. Okay, there we go. And I'm looking back at my work. I think I made a mistake in here. Negative V zero cosine phi tan theta minus v0 sine theta, that would put a plus right here. So that's going to put a plus down here. Put a plus down here, which will put a plus down here. Now let's change that to plus. Oops, I need it down here. There we go, 71.1 degrees. So I want to fix this a little bit. Uh, this is what I'm going to use next. Theta, theta, theta. Now up here, I'm solving for D because I typed in the equation, this equation right here. Um, except I'm supposed to have a plus here. Cosine theta tangent phi plus sine theta. Okay, that looks good. So D is going to be this, but theta, we found out, was 71.076 degrees. So I can type that in here. And I get the D is 33.8 meters, 71.076, 33.8 meters. Okay, so that's the answer to A right here. That's the answer to C. So I just need to figure out what V0 is. That should be easy. I've got an equation right here for V0. So GT over this. So it's really just this. Down here, 26.0 meters per second. So I hope this helps you with the problem.
Um, you may have to look, and I don't think there's any way for me to zoom out here, but you may have to look a little more closely at exactly what I did here to set up the equations. But the point is, I had to use the position versus time equations, and I had to use the velocity versus time equations. All four of these equations, solving them simultaneously, uh, gave me the answer. And the hard part for me was realizing right here that when I take the tangent here, I have the velocity in the y direction going there and the velocity in the x direction going there. But this is the wrong direction. I want it to be upward. So I needed to put negative vy here so that I could turn this into that. That would be negative vy. Now both vectors are positive, so it gives me a positive angle here or an angle can get it gives me an angle between 0 and 90 there all right